Hey guys, it's Dominique and thank you for coming back to my channel. If I sound a little bit nasally, um, I think it's the weather being up and down, up and down. So, um, yeah, excuse that. Sorry, can't do nothing about that. Anyway, today's video is a how to blend 4C, type 4C natural hair with um, Free Tress Water Wave Crochet Braids. Just the FYI, this is the big long bonnet that I sleep in. I don't even think I can get it all in the frame. I sleep in this bonnet because, I mean, it's a lot of hair and I want to keep everything secured because I am one of those people that sleep really, really rough and can sleep out of a scarf, a bonnet. So I kind of need something that can, you know, be tied and secured. Not too tight because you don't want you know breakage or you know any tightness around your temple or whatever but i just need something that's really going to last during the night because i sleep really rough so i got this from one of the beauty supplies beauty supply stores for like three dollars i think and um they have some that have like the olive oil treatment and on the inside this one's just regular long Body. Just gonna take this off. <clears throat> I installed these crochet braids about um, maybe like a week and a half ago. And before I start rambling, I'm just gonna show you the products that I'm gonna use. A water bottle. This has water, sweet almond oil, and castor oil in it. Also, I'm going to use some Murray's Beeswax. This is the white version or the clear version. I don't know. If, ooh, I got hurt all over this. Ew, I'm sorry. Next is the Murray's Beeswax. This was $2.79 at my local beauty supply store. They also have a black one, but the black one smells. I don't know if I had got a bad batch, but it was like straight musty. So I have not went back to it. <laughs> Then I'm going to use some Argan Oil Softy Hair and Scalp Conditioner just to moisturize my hair a little bit more. And I am running out of this, um, this foam, this mousse or whatever. So I'm just going to use this uh, Curl Activating Mousse by Smooth and Shine Polishing Curled Up Curl Activating Mousse. And you might need a towel. So for the last few days, I've been wearing my crochet braids to the side. I have a three-part um, braiding pattern. So I can wear them to this side as well. All of this right here is my hair. Okay. I also wear it in the middle. So all of this right in the middle is my hair and then this is a braid. So yeah, I don't know. And then I have my parameter completely out. So with the crochet braids, initially I wasn't even supposed to get Water Wave. Um, I wasn't even supposed to get Water Wave. I was trying to use, I was trying to use my Kanekaline, like my everyday, not everyday, but the Kanekaline that I always use. I always use um, Jam Collection Kanekaline, but I don't know if it's, because my hair is like completely natural now that it's just not blending the way I, the way it used to like back in the day. Maybe because I had heat damage, it was just, <laughs> it was blending a little better, but now not so much. Yeah, I didn't want to add heat to my hair to blend with crochet braids. Like that was never the point of getting crochet braids. 
but it just was not blending. And then the Marley hair, Marley hair is cool, but honestly, Okay guys, we're just gonna do a voiceover because I can ramble and I just feel like this would be better for me. So you won't have to listen to me talk about nothing. Anyway, let's get started. So as you can see, with the portion of hair, my hair that is left out, like my natural hair, not the crochet braids, um, I do have a lot of my hair out. That's just the way um, my braider kind of did it. I really didn't want that much hair out, but you know, it happens. So if I want to wear a middle part, if I want to wear a side part, the portion of hair, my hair that is going to be left out, I will split that in two sections. So I am dampening my hair with the water, castor oil, and um, sweet almond oil mix. Then I will apply some of the Murray's beeswax to my hair, run my fingers through the hair a little bit to detangle. Um, and or use my little comb gently to detangle my hair and I will double strand twist all the way to the ends and when I get to the ends I'm making sure to twirl the um, ends of my hair around my finger you don't want the ends to be completely straight because it kind of like just it looks like a dead giveaway that it's not blended very well and that the crochet braids in your hair isn't um isn't unified <laughs> I did this same routine for the middle portion of my hair as well as the other side part of um, my hair. So if I wanted to wear a middle part, as you can see right here, my hair is split into two. So when I unravel the twist, they're laying basically away from each other. It's not just one clump of twist. So basically with parting my hair, it kind of just helps the hair to lay flat and blend in seamlessly. Feels better already. It feels better already. Yes. Okay, so I went through I feel like a good amount of my hair and I feel like it's got its puffiness back because it was looking a little flat, looking a little dull. So I'm gonna take some of this mousse and the mousse is basically just gonna like put the curls back together I like how this isn't really scented too you do not need a lot you don't want to saturate the hair you just want it to be a little bit damp just a little bit just a little bit Look at that. And add a little bit more sheen to it. Because it can start to look a little dull. Even though even though a lot of people say water wave um, looks unnatural. It looks it looks super shiny with all synthetic hairs. The dullness will die down. So I mean the shininess will die down. And you don't want your hair to look super dry. little scraggly ends that 
and you will have some ends that just will not curl just nipple just a nipple not a big deal plenty of plenty of plenty of hair that people would not notice that unless you know you run into these females and males that just like to be all upside your head trying to figure out what's going on they are the ones that'll probably notice but other than that ain't nobody really tripping for real or they shouldn't be anyway but you know people are weird people are nosy I tried to do a little layer, layering effect when I first put these in, but <laughs> I'm not that good at, you know, cutting. I'm gonna separate this thing, snip the little end, call it a day. So now that the hair is got its bounce back, bounce, 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 bounce back. Okay, now that the hair has this bounce back, I'm gonna go ahead and secure it again with my um, little bonnet. And I just flip all the hair to the front. Tuck your curl, your twist in. Okay. And there you have it, okay? My crown, okay? So all of this is the hair secure we're ready for a nap we're ready for bedtime whatever please do not leave your house with these on your head i hate it hate it hate it hate it when i see women walking out the house with bonnets on the head it's so tacky so you've seen how i mimic the water wave pattern you've seen how i um, brought life revived the water wave crochet braids even though they weren't looking that bad they weren't looking bad at all they just needed a little bit more sheen to them a little bit more bounce a little bit more springiness so yeah that's how i uh, maintain my crochet braids and also how i um blend my 4c hair with crochet braids water wave has always been my favorite like literally my top top favorite i've been wearing crochet braids for at least a good 10 plus years now they're just classic it's a classic protective style staple that everybody should at least try i love crochet braids i'll leave a few of my videos regarding crochet braids and upkeep and all of that down in the description box below but yeah this is about it so i just wanted to show you guys because i am about to get up and you know get ready for the day and run some errands and my hair needed to look better than what it was looking so if you have any questions or concerns please leave them down below in the comment section and I'll make sure to get to you as soon as possible. Thanks for coming to my channel again. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.